What's up guys, Alex Smith here in my video blog, A Day in the Life, documenting what exactly it is that goes into producing a live sports broadcast. Tonight I will be in the Bronx at Fordham University calling the Terriers against Fordham in the College Insiders Tournament. And I wanted to take you through the process of exactly what that entails, the preparation that involves, the things I've got to be thinking about, and stuff like that. So welcome to the show. As BU will have possession out of bounds, running a four flat set. It's Johnson on the right block and an inbound it. Fanning gets it. And now the step back jumper free throw line is good from Fanning. Mm. And the Terriers, just like that, take the lead. It's tough to guard Fanning when he makes mid-range shots like that. Nice step back. Nice opportunity. He's better known for getting to the rim. He can step back, make the money Kemba-like shot. One of the most important decisions that I've got to make as a broadcaster is what are you going to wear? And luckily for me today, uh, the choice isn't too difficult because it's actually a radio broadcast, so uh, nobody's going to see what I'm wearing. Theoretically, I could pretty much wear this jersey that I'm that I'm currently sporting, uh, but that would be a bit unprofessional on the press row. So I've definitely got to suit up, but it's not something that I need to put too much thought into. Maybe I'll rock this this plaid action here, but since I won't be on camera, um, not too much to think about here. Just don't want to be outdone by my color man, Chris Lynch. 4.45 remaining. Johnson into the middle of the lane, finds Fanning trailing the play, and he swings it to Mosley, takes a dribble, pulls up, and the 15-footer's good, ties up the game at 57. Two consecutive shots for Mosley. He's a streak and, he's a streak and yep. confidence-based shooter. This is the in on the road update. I'm here with Chris Lynch. As Hello. you can see, he is already uh, already suited up and ready to go. Uh, we are still uh, just outside of Boston right now. If you can have a look right here, uh, we've got our stuff there in the back seat, and I've got uh, my game notes right here, about to add some more. Pretty exciting stuff. Alex Smith does his work. Alex well, Smith uh, putting in the work, and uh, me putting in the other work of getting us there. Pretty much. Uh, we'll check in in a bit. Zarkovic on the right corner. He's guarded by Fanning. Now Shartuni pulling up for the left wing triple in front of his own bench. He cans it. Nice three point shot. This is going to be one of those games where you have to answer every single yep. time down the floor. And the Ram fans getting into it big time right now. This traffic update is brought to you by Chris Lynch. Chris, I hate this traffic. What do you have to say other than the, that you hate it? Uh, can it please dis can it please dissipate so we can move on? I this mean, it stinks. Yeah, trying to get on to this is this is what happens when you're trying to get into Connecticut. This is what happens when you try to get into Connecticut. Bargorba will get some high low action. He'll put it up and in with the left hand and take the lead back for the Terriers. We are under two minutes. He does have a little bit of height on rooms and he used it to its full advantage. He's up to six points on the game. Amazingly tense scenes here in the Bronx as we are no less than two miles away from Fordham University and it is currently 628. Yes, that is 32 minutes until the game starts. But why is my face right now red? You might be wondering. Brake lights. We're in another traffic jam. This is a total disaster. Hopefully I'm going to get in there before the game starts. Otherwise that would be uh, pretty bad. Anderson up high, it's Johnson and Mosley on the top of the BU zone, Papali on the right side and Judene on the left side. Chartuni driving to the basket, he drops it for the German Chris Sankfelder who lays it in with the right hand over Blaise Bargorba and we're knotted up again at 62. Here at Rose Hill Gym where the Terriers just recorded an enormous win in this CIT tournament over the Fordham Rams, a big Big night from Eric Fanning. I didn't even have time to do anything during this one. It was back and forth. There were momentum shifting three balls. There were flying dunks. What a game. I can't believe I made the trip. Uh, barely made it, but uh, couldn't be more excited than I am right now. Hopefully, the Terrier is now going to go on and uh, make some noise in this tournament. I don't know if I'll be on with them for the rest of the trip, but wow, my heart's beating so fast right now. Postseason basketball. It's not the NCAA tournament, but who cares? It's postseason basketball from Rose Hill. I could barely wait for tomorrow, but I don't have to. Johnson now finds Papali, the corner three on the way, it goes down! Terriers take a three point lead, 65-62, 120 on the clock. And a huge shot, the biggest of John pa Papali's storied Boston University Terrier career might be the one that prolongs it. One last thing I 
note before I go. I love to see this down here. These two guys, Doug and Brian, the professionals hired out by BU to do the men's games. They do pretty much what I do for the men's and the women's. Love seeing them down here. They love seeing me here. Um, but got a great report with these guys. Nothing but the best. Total respect to those two, and I hope their call was as good as ours, because ours was fire. Uh, Papali now 6 of 12 on three-point shots. Chetty Moe's just one of six, but that one coming at the right time, as he will get a chance to push this Terry Lee to five, and he does. He makes them both. 102 to play, and the Fordham Rams trail by five with the ball. And so the day begins how it ends. Back here in my room, you can even see the clothes I was wearing this morning, strewn on the floor. Shout out to Nick Havner. I have your jersey over here, BU number one. Um, what a game, what a game, what a day. Um, don't really know how to wrap this up other than to say that it was one heck of an experience as it always is. Uh, this time I'll say one thing that I did not expect um, is I made a new friend today. I had never really uh, spent significant time with Chris Lynch before. Uh, he's been in WTBU, but he's he's graduating next year, so he's definitely a guy that that I kind of wanted to get to know a little better, and I definitely managed to do that on this trip. Um, he was the guy nice enough to rent out the car so that we could do basically everything. Uh, but other than that, that essentially wraps things up. He can probably get that shot off. It's inbounded and tipped to the Terriers. Chetty Mosley going to come away with the pass, and the Boston University Terriers are going to record a postseason win here at the expense of the Fordham University Rams. What a huge, huge win here at Rose Hill Gym for these Boston University Terriers. Gutsy win with an injured squad and Eric Fanning and John Papala leading the way with 21 and 22 points respectively. Oh my goodness.